Hello, and welcome to RegoFix Tech Chat. My name is David McHenry. I am the engineering and technical manager here at RegoFix USA. Today, I want to talk about power grip preset ranges. Now, why would I want to talk about a topic like this? Well, because we have a variety of collets to fit different tool links. And you need to know exactly how to pick the right collet for the right tool length that you need. So let's take a look at our options. As you're going through the catalog, you're going to see that we offer a variety of different collets. And the main ones you're going to see that are quite a bit different from others are the standard collet, the long collet, and the short collet. Now, what exactly does that mean when we talk about a dash L or a dash S? Well, what we're referring to isn't the length of the collet itself, it's actually the amount of engagement that the collet has for your cutting tool. So the way to find out which one is going to fit or work best for you is actually to go to our catalog. So let's open up our catalog to the technical section in the back and it's page 284. You can see that we list the type of collet across the top, whether it be a PG6 or a PG32. We also have designations for dash S, dash CF, dash TW, dash L. Now what do all of those mean? Let's talk about that real quick. The dash S, those are the short collets. Those collets are designed to have less clamping length required the dash CF we've talked about in previous videos. Those are our coolant flush collets. The dash TW, those are our thin wall that would have also been covered in previous videos. And the dash L are long collets. Let's specifically look at the regular collets, which would be like a PG25 with no dash after it. The dash S and the dash L or the short and the long collets. Let's start off with a really easy example, a PG25 half inch size tool. Now, if we go through and we look up PG25 and we find the half inch and we follow it across, it tells me that I have a minimum engagement of 42 millimeters and a maximum engagement of 49.5. Now that is for the standard collet, but there are instances where I need to hold on to less tool shank. I need more tool projection. So I would fall that over to the next column, which is PG25-S. And on this one, I can see that I have a minimum engagement of 35 millimeters and a maximum of 43. So I have a significant amount more tool projection possible with this collet, which means I'm holding on to less of it inside of the collet itself. There are cases where I need to hold on to longer tools. I need to have less projection for that cutting tool. That would be the dash L collet. It's for long, for long bore. On those, I have a minimum of 42 millimeters and a maximum of 65 millimeters. Now, based on these three collet types, you can see that we can pretty much accommodate any tool length that you have and maintain adjustability within that collet. If you have any questions at all on different tool lengths or which collet is best for your application, please contact the technical group here at RegoFix USA. We'll be glad to help you out with that. My name is David McHenry. Thank you for watching.